We have just bought the cheapest Vauxhall Corsa in the whole of the UK. But obviously, it comes with few. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you like a headlight? Uh, would you like one of those? So now we're going to be fixing this to make it look like a proper Vauxhall Corsa again. Sixty-two thousand miles is done. That's it. Oh, that's the only thing that's holding it together. First objective is to remove the front bumper entirely because the right side is still intact. The rest isn't, so... Oh, there you go. Course side cam. Course. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, mate. Goodness gracious, mate. And here is the reason why it's cat S. Look at this. That's no good anymore. I can give that to the scrapper. Oh, straight now, it's easy. There you go. That's not really going to protect you from any oh. crash anymore, is it? And if you have a look here, there is a minor chassis damage. If you compare it, so this side here, compare it to this side. This lip here is the only thing that's bent purely because obviously the crash bar sustained some damage that way. And as you can see, it didn't go all the way to the radiator. So yeah, I'm gonna have to pull this back a little bit later on. Yeah, that's it pretty much. And that's the reason why it's cat S. I have just noticed something that I thought was very broken. Let me show you. As I mentioned earlier, the crash bar where it touches to it's actually on the slam panel and not on the chassis leg. Look at this. I thought it was on the chassis leg, but... I did say that earlier. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But it seems like we are able to replace it. it. Up nicely. Yeah. We don't have to, you know, do some body work and stuff like that because this whole slam panel is getting replaced anyway. Lovely job, Lee. Here Hero. are the list of things that we need. We need a washer bottle because I can see that it's cracked. We're also going to be needing a coolant bottle because the, what's it called, the holder bit of it is it's cracked as well. So if we were to MOT this vehicle, they'll just say it's broken. You need to replace it. It's insecure. And then obviously, most importantly, the left headlight, slam panel and the bonnet as well. You've seen how bad it is. So um, crash bar, of course, the slam panel. That's all going to come together. And we're also going to be replacing the left wing because it's broken it's broken it's 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 finished it doesn't look like much but the bracket that holds it onto the slam panel it's it's very broken so we're gonna get that replaced and we are gonna go to the number one breakers in south of england for voxel courses only voxel courses only that's where he focuses on huh? just imagine how sick he is so let's go right so we are here at the breakers yard for the Vauxhall Corsa. It's actually massive. They specialize only on Vauxhall courses. Like any Vauxhall courses, hollow them up. They are called KMF Autos. Here's the details. So anything Vauxhall Corsa or anything similar, like say for example, the engine, if you need it. Yeah, they break Vauxhall courses only. So if you have something similar like engine and stuff like that, they will definitely have it. It's actually huge. This is just their workshop. But as you can see right here, Box of course here, box of course, box of course, but then, yeah. yeah, as you can see, front bumper, obviously, that's what we need. So the slam panel we've got now, the left wing we've got. Unfortunately, they did not have the headlight that we need. So we're going to have to find that elsewhere. Um, they have just sold it literally today as well before we came in, which is a shame, really. But and we've also diagnosed their van. It broke down on them the other day when they were recovering another Vauxhall Corsa to break. It's funny, isn't it? Uh, recovery, getting recovered. The following day. This is the following day after we picked up the parts for the Corsa. The bonnet is right there. 
And as you can see, that's crazy. That's not repairable. John is already on it, mate. Like a thief in the night. Look, this is this is how you know he's a noob. He's not even lining up the panels, and he's already tightening the bolts. <laughs> and then he's there, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do you my dosa. Put it on, blood. Nah, nah. I said we need to line it up. I put it on. To line it up. I told him not to put it on yet. Because you have to do everything else first. For everything else. But you don't want to listen. For everything else. The bumper. Do you want to hold this up then? Oh, oh it's there. Yeah, he's oh, a noob. Three, you see that? You see that? He's a noob. Yeah, there. Oh. What do you say? He's a noob. He says sorry. Noob. You say sorry. Noob. He says sorry. Here we are trying to put everything back together. Starting with the bonnet and the slam panel. We then started removing the old wing and I can't lie to you, we did struggle to remove this piece of work. There is a hidden bolt behind the A pillar, which is also hard to get to. Though, I can't lie to you, I'm enjoying working on this car. So, everything is back on, slam panel, radiator screwed on, fenders, front bumper. I'm waiting for Marvelous, but I don't know where he's put the screws. Bloody hell, mate. Everything's looking to line up nicely. Hopefully the bonnet fits. Where is this guy? Now that the front bumper, headlight and wing is back on, the car is starting to take shape again. It's finally starting to look like a Vauxhall Corsa. Something about restoring a crash damaged vehicle is satisfying. It gives you, uh, well, a sense of satisfaction. Which is what us mechanics are always after anyway, so here we are. A Vauxhall Corsa, I guess. Just a quick update on what we're doing at the moment. We have the holder that's on the wing, that's attached onto the wing, obviously it's riveted what we bought the clips for the front bumper that secures it is broken so the other one has actually got all the clips on it so the top bit that holds the bumper so that's why we're just swapping it out with the old one which is this piece here we need this piece that piece and that piece yeah we've just drilled out all of the rivets out so now we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bolt that in instead you gotta think sometimes don't you you gotta do it you gotta do what you gotta do yeah <laughs> This thing is a car again. Ah. this the temperature to be doing this it's currently like two degrees so the answer for that is new no. <laughs> my hands are freezing cold they're white and they're painful it hurts did you know that i actually love detailing car well this is not detail of course not it's just a watch but if i had another business i would say it would be detailing i would say during the lockdown actually obviously there was nothing to do and I used to just, because uh, I have a BMW, a uh, white one, I used to just detail it all the time pretty much, even though it's not going anywhere. I would just clean it. I had it ceramic coated by myself. Three stage polish as well. Clay barred, all of that, whatever you want to call it. I've done all of that with my car. I actually like it when things are shiny. But now, I'm a mechanic. Just imagine this, yeah? I used to have a cloth for interior window, the external, different cloth, a different cloth for the top surface of the car. So that'll be this part, the bonnet, yeah. That's all different cloth. For the wing, that's a different cloth. For the door, different cloth again. I, I used to take it like seriously. I had loads of gloves. And now I don't know where they've gone. I think my mum's using it. <laughs> Love doing it. But like what I said, if I was to go on to another venture, it will be detailing, I would say. If I was to detail cars, I would love me to detail a like, supercar, for example, like a GT3 RS would be nice. And that is her clue. Now she actually looks like a Vauxhall Corsa again. Just have a look. This car has come a long way. To be honest with you, I was pretty skeptical when I bought it. It had obviously the wing damage, the bumper. There was no headlight when I bought it. It was pretty scary, to be honest with you, but I thought, you know what, let's just give it a go and see if we can restore the car. Obviously, there's still some bits that need to do it, like scratches here, the brand new secondhand bumper is matted. Every single scratch and dents on this car will be rectified. Now, 
begs the question, what is my next plan with this car? I was planning to uh, go out for a drive with this one, you know, take it out further, but I couldn't get the number plate because it's not in my name. I tried to apply for the V62 and apparently, weirdly enough, somebody has applied for the V62 on this car within 14 days or something like that. It's saying that like I can't do it within 14 days of someone applying for a V5. I don't know who's done it, but someone is trying to do something here. Now, okay, it begs the question, am I ever going to drive this without a V5? I probably wouldn't, <laughs> to be honest with you. But she's looking well. Now the question is, what is my plan for this little Vauxhall Corsa over here? So stay tuned and find out in the next video. This is where I'm going to end it. So please like, share, comment and subscribe if you would like to see more restoration videos like this. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. I think we've got some more issue here. My fuel gauge is not working. This was full. What the hell?